on the issue of Ukraine's accession to the alliance, the ostensible unity that NATO tried to demonstrate was literally bursting at the seams. Listen to what they were saying. The media published details of disagreements between the alliance member states over the volume, the timing of Ukraine's financing, and the process of Ukraine's accession to NATO. And on the eve of the summit, this story was the subject of a public appeal by 60 authoritative American political scientists who urged, I'm guessing, the NATO countries basically themselves and NATO as an alliance, which is led by Washington, not to bring Kiev closer to membership in the bloc. Here, as I said, something went wrong at the anniversary summit, and this complacency and planned pleasantness did not work at all. What happened in the end? In the end, the Kiev regime was promised, to quote directly, an irreversible road to the alliance. I honestly don't know what that irreversible road to the alliance is. I think the only association that comes up is the road to the cliff. Now, apparently, in order to somewhat brighten up, or at least sub-explain the meaning of what they're talking about, they're calling this irreversible road to the alliance a new term. It turns out to be a bridge to the alliance. Although the length of this bridge has yet to be determined, but so be it. I will reveal a military secret for the Kiev regime. It is indeed a bridge to NATO, but it is divorceable from all points of view. It is also divorceable from the point of view that at any moment, when it will be favorable to the West, this bridge will be lifted. And when it will be favorable, again, to the West, and no one will ask neither the Kyiv regime nor the citizens of Ukraine, they will connect it again, and it will be like this all the time. But there is also a symbolic meaning. Indeed, this bridge to NATO is a divorceable bridge for Ukraine, because the citizens of Ukraine are being cheated. It is a pity, a shame, but we have to recognize it.